Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in today. If you guys are new here, this is Dwani and if you guys have seen my face before, welcome back. So today we are going to talk about being a woman in tech, especially in California and the Silicon Valley and working as a software engineer. And I don't want to waste much of your time because I know that if you guys have clicked for this video, that's what you guys want to know. Like how much they make, is there a pay parity, uh, the kind of job you need to do, the work-life balance and so on. So yes, I am a software engineer. I work in Bay Area uh, or Silicon Valley or North California. Uh, and yes, I have been doing this for past nine years now. So I did st my study in Boston. So I grew up in India, uh, honestly, and then I did st my master's in Boston and then I moved to California in around 2015-ish. Um, so it's been like, what? eight years, nine years almost. And I have always been software engineer in my life. I did my master's in computer science uh, from Northeastern and it's been good so far. So yeah, let's, let's, let's talk all about it. So honestly, I feel that tech in general is a place where the pay parity, it's pretty much even actually. So there is no gender bias there. So if you're a man or a woman, uh, you will be making the same. Now, I'm being a software engineer, I can speak for software engineers, uh, but I'm pretty sure, much sure that even if you're a software engineer in California or Chicago or let's say in India, the pay parity with the male counterpart would be the same, if not more. Uh, but yes, and uh, yeah, currently I'm more of a senior engineer, but let's talk like what to expect um, in terms of pay, in terms of work, in terms of responsibility. And in terms of keeping it yourself with the new things or new folks or younger folks to join in. Um, so I'm somewhere in the mid engineering career, I would say. Uh, and yeah, eight years here. So let's start from the beginning, the pay. Uh, so depending on where you are located, uh, like what I mean by is like high cost of living versus low cost of living. If you are in US, if you're in India or Canada. So depending on the company you are joining in okay let's just make it a bit more specific so let's just talk about um california like i'm just talking about san francisco area now la and santiago is different when it comes to pay but when it comes to san francisco area let's say that a person who is having irrespective of the gender a person who is having around eight to nine years of software experience, software engineering experience, that's where I am, would expect their their uh, annual compensation somewhere from like the range of 300k USD or three lakhs dollar to almost five to 600k USD. Now, I wouldn't, uh, I'm not super secure about talking about my uh, pay grade here, but yes, I'm somewhere in this range as well. Um, and also you need to understand that uh, when I'm talking about annual compensation, it's not the cash that you're getting paid because in California, especially and especially in San Francisco Bay Area, your annual compensation is divided into multiple components. It's one is your, your base salary, which is the cash that you are getting and you for sure know it, you're going to get it. One is like bonus. Now, bonus part is a bit tricky. You may or may not get it depending on how your company is giving you compensation. Uh, the company I'm working on right now does not have a bonus part to it. It's like all your um, all your comp like your base salary contains the, comp the bonus part of it. And the second part is the, um, the RSUs, uh, which is basically if your company is public, you'll get some shares of your company uh, depending on your uh, level um let's say for example most of the times i've seen that your base pays around 60 percent or 50 percent and your rsu or your or your company shares you get if the company is public uh you'll get is around like 40 percent 40 to 50 percent and that's how your annual compensation looks like it's your base salary bonus and uh, and uh shares at the time of joining um, so yeah, share is the, the variable part of your comp uh, compensation. If your company performs really well, uh, your annual compensation can sometimes go 2x as well. Whereas if your company is, is, is stagnant, it would almost stay the same. There are play times, especially in COVID, where 
everyone's compensation went down because most of the company valuations were down uh but just to give an overview it should be somewhere around like around 300k to 600k uh but this is how your pay looks like and uh, there are no gender biases which i like about being in this field and uh, and i would say this not just for software engineers but also for like business analytics, um, data analytics, or data science, or any tech folks in general. Uh, but when it comes to salary range, I'm just giving a salary range of the software engineer in California and Bay Area. So if you're somebody who is uh, looking forward or you're planning to switch places, uh, or planning to switch locations of your work, you can you can get an idea. But also one thing to keep in mind is like your expenses are also as high so uh, i would say that in the end of everything you would save as much as you would save in a medium cost of living or a low cost of living area but yeah that's just my two cents on the pay when it comes to uh, senior software or software engineer or a staff software engineer anybody who is at the experience level of eight to nine years and depending on where you've worked again um i have changed my jobs every two three years um, it has helped me to learn new things and also to work with different kind of people, also to expand the verticals that I worked on. Um, so yeah, that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, other than that, what? The work-life balance, right? I would say that sometimes it does get hectic because um, when you're a software engineer, when you're an engineer in general, and I'm not talking about engineer, but let's say anybody who is a bit more on the computational or problem-solving side of the things, you need to use brain a lot. So maybe your uh, your work, your day wouldn't look as crazy as like doing 12 hours of work because this is a bit more of a, how would I say, mentally exhausting work. Uh, but it's not super crazy, like you can manage. Most of the times I've seen that you have the sign cough where you have a lot of work, stays there, a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work. And then good amount of like, you know, you can... And the, then the kind of work slows down also. So it's not like your your work level is not always on the top. It does come down. So work-life balance is not bad as such. And the reason I'm saying all these things is I know that a lot of folks are... I hope a lot of the folks who are seeing this video are the ones... or The, the girls who are seeing these videos are about are thinking about doing computer engineering, computer science, or uh, doing something in the software field. And I'm just telling them that the future looks good. Yes, we have a lot of AI tools like ChatGPT, MidJourney. And as of now, I don't think they're coming for our jobs as of now. Maybe a controversial statement, but I have tried personally chat GPT for multiple things. And it's not right. Let's just say that. Uh, but yeah, that's something I wanted to mention here. And feel free to ask me any questions that you might have. I will put my, I'll put my uh, Instagram over here. Uh, ask me any questions that you might have. My Instagram is a bit more like what all I do other than work. I'll travel, I'll just work out and things like that. Uh, but the main two things are like basically pay parity, pay or work-life balance. It's pretty good. Uh, I think one good thing about working in California is like uh, there are many like-minded people around or there are a lot of job opportunities when it comes to especially tech around. So that's the reason I have chose to be in this city. But that is changing now because everywhere we have this remote work ongoing or you can work from anywhere kind of a thing. And it's actually pretty good. I, I do believe that it, it's very n good to have. Uh, but if you are somebody who is watching this video and is not from US and you would want to come to US for studies, for work, or would want to know more about it, feel free to message me. It's been like 10 years, almost 11 years that I have been in this country and this country has been amazing. And so are the people. It's like really diverse and really accepting. Especially, um, I can say for California as well. I, I've studied in Boston. I, I am working in California. And people are really friendly, I would say, yeah. Uh, people are really friendly. You meet all kind of folks. And it's very diverse. Um, so, yeah, do message me if you guys have any. Especially if women out there who... who Or if girls out there who is looking forward to become... To pick up the software engineering as a, as a career path please feel free to message me. I can answer any questions that you might have. As, even if you are from States or if you're not from States, you're from somewhere else and are planning to come here to study or to work and uh, just want some sort of, um, I don't know, some suggestions or things like that, feel free to message me up or hit me up. Uh, but this is what I do for a living, actually. I 
the reason I make videos is a bit more uh, to talk about like confidence, uh, career and things like that. I usually make videos on hair loss, which I'm planning to change and make it more broader terms, which works on a total personality building than just talking about single uh, single thing, which is like hair loss. I do want to talk about multiple things or multiple things we encounter on our day-to-day -day life or uh, we need to, the like, challenges we face. So yeah, and if you're interested in any kind of hair loss videos that I've made so far, there's an entire playlist that you can go ahead and look it in. Uh, but this is more on the career front of it and this is my my primary job is actually to do um, software engineering. My YouTube videos are actually not monetized. Um, I've started making YouTube videos to talk more about my insecurities or uh, my hair loss, uh, which uh, I hope uh, helps people out there to feel um, good about themselves or to cope up with the things that they don't have control over. Uh, but this is something I always wanted to talk about because I do feel that uh, part of my confidence come from my career and thanks to, I would say California to a certain extent for providing me with such an amazing opportunities when it comes to career. Um, yeah, and this is going to be a short video, but yes, I always want to share this. I hope it makes sense. Um, and being a woman in tech, it's right now at this time, it's it's really good uh, because people want more women when it comes to tech or even in terms people are currently um, supporting a lot more women in, when it comes to corporate or workforce. So it's amazing time to be in any kind of career, you know, in any kind of career people are nowadays encouraging women empowerment and they want women to succeed and they're helping them succeed. So I think that's a beautiful time and an amazing time to be a woman in any kind of work that you like to do. Uh, but yeah, feel free. This is going to be short. Feel free to message up, uh, just put anything, any questions that you might have in the comment. If you guys want to know how my 10 years in States have been so far, how my career progression looked like uh, from where I started and from where I am right now, let me know. And I will be happy to create a video with that because as you guys know by now, I like talking. I'm not super consistent with videos, but I try to be consistent because sometimes my work uses a lot of my brain. So <laughs> yeah, so that's it for today. Feel free. Oh yeah, do subscribe to the channel. I always forget telling that. Do subscribe to the channel if you guys like the video. If you like, guys want to see more content on career, uh, life in US, life in California. Uh, how does the budgeting looks like when it comes to California. As I mentioned before that even if you stay in California and get the, the San Francisco kind of a compensation, you would be saving same as you would save in in any of the medium uh, cost of living kind of areas. If you guys want any kind of budgeting around that or how those numbers look like, let me know. I'll be happy to create a video. But for now, this is all. Do like the video. Do give me a thumbs up because I have heard all the people saying that it helps the algorithm. I hope it helps the algorithm. And do at least say hi in the comment box down there. So I know you guys like what I'm making. Bye. Until next time. Always stay beautifully you. Always stay unique you. Bye.